I suppose I should wish you a good day, but perhaps you could spend a moment to just reflect upon the day, see how good it really is. So a few years ago, as an undergraduate in university, I used to enjoy the context questions in criminal law. So this is where they give you a set of facts and you have to review those facts, see if a law has been broken, see what crimes have been committed. To give you an example, say in a conflict, a man walks up to a market full of civilians and tosses in a bomb, kills men, women and children in their hundreds. Has the law been broken? Have crimes been committed? Hmm. The good old days. It used to be so simple to answer that question. Not any longer. Today, you cannot answer this question unless you ask two more questions. First, who threw the bomb? Second, where is the market? Now, if a black hand or a brown hand threw the bomb, of course a war crime has been committed. Now, if the market was located in London, New York, Tel Aviv, most certainly a war crime has been committed. But if the bomber was a Keir Starmer, a Bush, a Biden, and Netanyahu. Of course, no war crime has been committed. And the marketplace was in Tripoli, in Sudan, in Kabul, in Gaza, Lebanon. Nothing to see here. No war crime has been committed. So this is an incomplete inversion of the rule of law. Under the rule of law, equality under the law. Doesn't matter the identity of the perpetrator of the victim. Once the facts of the crime come together, law has been broken, crime has been committed. Not any longer. Today what matters is might. At this point in the 21st century, we're under the law of the jungle. Who can line up the vetoes in the disunited nations? Who can rain 10,000 bombs on a target? Who can muster nuclear submarines and destroyers? Is this a good day to wake up in? A few years ago, at my first job in northern Nigeria, I remember walking into this police station. So detention facilities for, you know, suspects. Sell men to hold 10 people, holding maybe 30, 40 people. And then, of course, separating the cell from the policeman. A thin wall and a door with uh, bars for security. And the heat and in one corner of the cell, a bucket of sewage and on the other side policemen and i used to wonder did they not smell can they not feel the heat and i saw then the power of the Igbo proverb he that holds his neighbor on the ground holds himself also there is a hinging in the destiny of the oppressed and the oppressor and i wonder that people don't see it more don't see the connection between the bombs you threw at Tripoli, Kabul, and Baghdad, and the wave of illegal aliens that swamp your cities, at the link between the economic strangulation of places like Cuba and the Venezuelas of the world by economic sanctions, and the military-aged men with bitterness in their hearts that swamp your villages and threaten your lifestyles. Is it that we don't see the connection between 20 million gallons of Agent Orange, a toxic herbicide, sprayed from the skies of Vietnam, and the bad effects in the children of the American servicemen with boots on the ground 50 years later, even today? More recently, Anthony Blinken, the American Secretary of State, announced at a press conference a series of sanctions. One institution particularly stands out. RT also secretly runs the online platform African Stream. The offense is receiving funding from RT, the Russian broadcaster, being a propaganda arm of Russia. I am a consumer of the contents of African Stream. I see no propaganda. They have denied that they receive any state funding of any South African stream. But even if they did, so what? As of today, digital media company faces the existential threat, having been banned from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And it is interesting how this stacks up beside the 
entirely false allegations against Saddam Hussein's Iraq, that they were hosting weapons of mass destruction, they were guilty of complicity with 9-11, completely false accusations on the basis of which Iraq was destroyed and millions of people were killed. Now, what is particularly disturbing is this insecurity, this inferiority complex that the West has towards the global South, particularly with Africa, that makes them incapable of competing on equal basis. It's a marketplace of ideas. If you fear Russian propaganda, bring yours on. And indeed, they bring theirs on. As, a, as we speak, hundreds of organizations, literary organizations, artist festivals, journalistic enterprises, receive funding from the Western organizations like Goethe Institute, British Council, Alliance Francais, as well they should. It's up to the artists to determine how much their funding affects their voice. It's up to the listeners, the consumers of information, to determine how much they receive. But no, there's an inferiority complex at play. They cannot compete unless they are first shut down the competition. We see this in the politics as well. When Africa's most intelligent leaders are serially eliminated and assassinated, to be replaced by the imbeciles and the buffoons who are stooges for the Western interests. And they serve the Western interests faithfully while completely disregarding the African interests. It's not a good day to wake up in, but we must find our inspiration from nature. If we go into the garden today, take a sapling, bend it towards the ground and clip its top to its stem. If we go away for a week and come back, we'll find that the shoot is not growing towards the ground, that the leaves have now turned towards the sun, that from the bend in the trunk, new shoots are rising towards the light. Life, even at the most rudimentary, knows to grow towards light and away from darkness. The trees have no brains, that's a no-brainer. But they know enough to go to light away from darkness. How can humans be outthought by the brainless plants? We must find somewhere in our humanity the imperative to grow towards light and not darkness, to go towards good and not evil, to plant life, not blow up bombs. We must find it within ourselves to strive for the virtues of equality, of justice, of fair play. I must do this no matter the pools from the kingdom of darkness. And this is the only basis on which I can, like, like calling out like, wish you a good day.